the hotel and I'm back down at Comercio Square. I'm walking through here to get to the Alfama district, which is the area of Lisbon that survived the earthquake. So I'm gonna go and take a look around that neighborhood. in Rossio Square and a good morning down at the Alfama district. I'm now heading to the Carmo convent which is the convent with the collapsed roof that I was talking about yesterday. I was hoping to visit it yesterday. Didn't get a chance because it was closed but I'm going to go back there now. Okay it looks like I've got some better luck today. It's open. Buy a ticket and go inside. So I'm, now in... so I'm now inside the Carmo convent and uh, this is a church that was built in 1389 and then mostly or partially destroyed in 1755 when the great Lisbon earthquake struck. Uh, the roof as you can see behind me is completely destroyed. It fell in on the people that were in here praying on November 1st 1755. on and I'm heading to the Tagus River to catch a boat. good ferry ride it's only about five six minutes I'm now in a place called Armida which I'm not sure is a suburb of Lisbon or whether it's a different city or town but it's just across the other side of the April 25th bridge I'm heading to a panoramic elevator and then towards the Christ is King statue which is very similar uh, to the one in Rio de Janeiro um, the only difference is it's smaller and not as high. So that's where I'm going to end my trip. From there I'm going to head back across the Tagus River and back to the airport to catch a flight home. This uh, entire dock area is kind of completely broken down and shut up. I suspect this was quite a large port area in years gone by but it's fallen into disrepair now it's a bit like a ghost port a 
That's a long old way up. Thankfully, there's an elevator. This is the Boca de Vento panoramic elevator. It's cost me one euro for a 50 meter ride up the cliff face. I'm now in the Almada district. So let's go and take a look around. I believe this is the Almada cemetery. It is right on top of a hill, which is what caught my attention, to be honest, as I was walking past, I saw an open gate and I'm glad I came in. It's very interesting to see all of these decorative graves and large tombs. So I've made it up to what is named the Sanctuary of Christ the King statue. So the monument is made up of a large pedestal with a statue of Christ the King on top, as you can see, looking out towards the Tagus River and the city of Lisbon. It is mostly built using concrete. I've just come around to the front of the monument and you can see now an observation area just ahead of me. There's an incredible view of the 25th of April bridge crossing the River Tagus and over in the distance on the right side of the shot is the capital of the country Lisbon where I've just come from. It is lit up very nicely in the late afternoon sunlight here. Right, so I'm going to head over to the monument now and see if I can get up to the observation deck. Here we go. So I'm just climbing out now onto the observation deck at the base of the statue itself. And this observation deck is at a height of 269 feet, so I've just read, which is just over 80 meters above the ground. Right up there is the statue itself, inspired, of course, by the Christ the Redeemer statue, perhaps the most famous statue of this kind, which is in Brazil. And it stands 92 feet high, which is just under 30 meters above the top of the pedestal. And that's where the observation deck is. What a great place to end my trip to Portugal, overlooking all the things I've been seeing and doing over the last few days. Tagus River over there, and then ahead of me should be the bridge and the incredible city of Lisbon, which is where it's all happened. Thanks for watching the videos, and I'll see you in the next one.